Where are we, Joshua? We're in Hannah Hall's houseboat in Sausalito, California. San Francisco is a bit of our happy place, it right? It is. We love uh, it up there. People keep asking me now if I could live on a houseboat. No. I couldn't either. No, no, I don't think you could. Oh, I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> When writing this book, I had a draft that looked very unlike the story we now know today. And I remember you came into the room and you said, what if you think about it a little bit differently? When you said that, it helped me imagine a different ending, which is a prime example sort of of how our writing life works at home. We read everything the other writes. If I had my way, we would sit in the same office all day. We do a lot. You try to go to your secret office. It's supposed to be secret from our son who found it. He loves it, loves it. <laughs> Good day at work. Better now that it's over. It felt very natural for us to start writing the show together. And you love being on set. I continue to learn so much from you. I'm used to adapting historical pieces. This is right. quite a departure. This is quite for a you. departure. Roll sound. Adapting a historical event is hard because there's a ton of research, whereas here we had this great book, and that was the huge help. What I love about your writing is it's so insightful and thoughtful, and so all those episodes you took the first pass on, and then I just cleaned up around the margins. You can do all sorts of things in screenwriting that I could never do, though. Making this world visual and... Dual dialogue, using Final Draft. All the things. In some ways, it felt like I was going to film school working with you. <laughs> There's gonna come a time when I won't be able to keep her safe anymore. Not from anything. One of the things I always loved about the book is that it is both this suspense mystery, but it is also a meditation on parenting and found families. Do you think you could have written that before we had Jacob? I don't know. This book is a love letter to Jacob. I always tell him it's his book, which he thinks the whole book's about him. But in some ways it is. You are absolutely gonna be what's best for her. And you know. Me. It's been very nice to walk down memory lane with you today. I've adapted a bunch of books, but I've never gotten to adapt a book written by my wife, Laura, which has been a joy. And I only hope I have done it justice. You did. There's not a whole lot you could tell me about that would change anything between us. Well, thank God for that.